everybody. Welcome to the Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is going to be all about one of our personal favorite Christmas traditions, what we like to call the first day of Christmas gift. Now in our house, Christmas typically starts the day after Thanksgiving. And the first thing that we do is decorate the Christmas tree. So with that being said, we've always given Emily a first day of Christmas gift and we give it to her all wrapped up the day that we're going to decorate the Christmas tree. Even if that's early, which we have done in the past, especially the year of COVID because we needed the joy. Um, we still give her the gift when we're going to decorate the tree. And we've given her some of the same things every year. So I thought I would share that with you because they're so simple and easy, but meaningful. And it's traditions that we've built on. So the first thing that we always pick up to gift her is an ornament. This year, her ornament is a dragon with a dice. Um, they're always like personalized ornaments to something that she's into. So she's gotten Harry Potter ones, um, Cinderella when she was little and into the princesses. Uh, Minecraft is what she got last year. Um, I can't off the top of my head think, but if we can't find something that we think she's into, then Kevin will paint her one. So one year he painted her a how to train your dragon one, um, which was toothless because she was like obsessed with how to train your dragon. So we always give her an ornament because we're going to decorate the tree so she can hang her new ornament. And that's normally the first ornament she likes to hang. We also always do a pair of pajamas so that we can all put pajamas on and get cozy. Um, I don't always buy Kevin and I new pajamas. Sometimes I'll buy us matching ones if it's possible, but not always. Uh, our favorite pajamas come from either Old Navy or Target. This year they're from Target. They're this cute little doodle print. Um, Kevin said he would forego <laughs> these, but I did get me and Emily both a pair. And then I just picked up a simple red t-shirt for her to wear with those. And then we always add a new game to our Christmas games as well. So this year, the game that she's getting that we are going to be adding is Boop the Halls. This is a two-player cat-inspired game, which she loves cats, and we're always looking for good two-player games. We have the original Boop, and we have the Boop Halloween version, so it just made sense to add the Christmas version, and um, she's going to love this. And then I always try to get her a new book. Um, this year, the book that I got her happens to also be an Advent book, so it's kind of a two for one. But we always try to add at least a book. If I can make it an Advent book, that's even better. This is Eight Tiny Reindeer. It is a graphic novel, which she's going to love. And it's only like three or four pages that you read. Like, for example, here is December 1st. So it's an advent calendar graphic novel with one action pack chapter for every day until Christmas. Um, so this is going to be perfect. She's going to love it. I did also want to share with you guys some other um, advent style books that we've loved in the past because I do kind of find them hard to find. Uh, two of our absolute favorites are How Winston Delivered Christmas and then um, how Winston came home for Christmas. These are such cute stories. And then they have like craft activities every day leading up to Christmas. We also really enjoy the Advent storybook. This is 25 Bible stories showing why Jesus came. Uh, we love unwrapping the greatest gift. Um, this is beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. And they're just short one page readings every day. And then probably the one that was everybody's favorite in our house was the Harry Potter, um, a Hogwarts Christmas pop-up. And it's because when you open it, this tree, except ours is a little flat here, um, pops up. And then when you open the little days, there's ornaments that you hang on the tree. So that was, definitely a favorite. You just have to be careful with the tree when you open and close it. So we normally leave it open all season long. Um, and then I normally try to get Emily an advent calendar as well, even though we have an advent book because the advent book is typically something that we do as a family. Um, so I try to get her an advent calendar that's just for her. 
This year, I flipped that because her advent book is one that she's gonna be doing just for her. So the advent calendar that I got is more, I guess for her, but also could be for family. And so it is this 24 jigsaw puzzle. Each puzzle is 50 pieces and they're so cute. Let's see, you can see some of them here on the back. Um, but I will say, I don't always love, like now that she's gotten older, some of the advent calendars have gotten better. We love the puzzle ones. Um, we also really like the exit ones where you have like um, a riddle to solve each day. Those have been a lot of fun. When she was younger, I bought the typical ones. Lego was my favorite one when she was little. I don't love the, the stuff, if you will. Um, I will link some of my favorite advent calendars that are like educational and they're more activity based because those are typically my favorite. The ones where you're like collecting stuff all season long, I just don't love that. I mean, I know that technically puzzles is stuff, but to me, putting a puzzle together is an activity. So much like I said, like the exit calendars, those are used trying to solve something. So it's an activity. Um, even the little Lego ones, I didn't mind because it typically meant that she was going to get inspired and go build Lego. But other than that, like the ones where you're just collecting crap, I have no interest in those. So I will link some of my favorites in the description in case you are looking for advent books or advent calendars that are more activity based or educational and not just junk. So that is what Emily will be receiving on the first day of Christmas. But now I would love it if you would tell me some of your Christmas traditions. So when do you decorate your tree? First of all, do you give a gift when you decorate your tree? Do you do Advent? I would absolutely love to know. So let me know in the comments.